Hey guys, this is Petrina and I will be showing you how I created my clock app, my very basic clock app. Um, I'm just going to put a disclaimer out there. I am not a professional programmer. I am just someone who's trying to teach herself how to program. So... The first thing is you have to have Python 3 and the KV module installed on your computer and it's very important that you have a virtual environment for your KV um, file but for me I've tried and I have struggled so if you have any tips then you can let me know or I could just do a Google search <laughs> okay um, let's just get started okay so before we get started I'm just gonna say that this is gonna be the first part of um, creating this app because we're gonna do a little other stuff that we're gonna add on to this app so this is gonna be part one so let's get started um the first thing you want to do is you want to import um config so from kv.config import config and you say config dot set and you say graphics resizable and you set it to false okay so this is very important these two lines they're important if you don't want your app to be resizable I don't want my clock app to be resizable because when it is it throws the whole it throws the whole design out of whack so I just want it to stay at a fixed size and just a note for you, um, if you don't know this, but this works only when you put it before everything out. So it has to come first. These two lines have to be, have to be the first and the second line. Um, yeah. By the way, forgive me for my poor English. Um, um, English is not my first language. So yeah, bear with me. Okay, the next thing is we're gonna import the app module. So from kiwi.app, import app. This is to make sure that the app runs. Very important. The next thing is from kiwi.clock, import clock. So what this does is it makes the clock tick okay the next thing is from time import str of time this displays the time as a text on the app um, for the design wise so yeah um, the next thing you're gonna put is from kv.core.window import window this is to set the size of the app okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the size of the app and I'm gonna say 400 by 400 I like a small size app so yeah and then we're going to declare a class called practice clock app and we're just going to put class for now and then we're going to close it with this code here if name 2 underscores main double underscore and then you say practice clock app dot 
to run. So now we're just going to save it and we're just going to run it. I'm using not Notepad++ by the way to write my Python and Kiwi um, code. So yeah. Okay, so there you go, there's the app. At the moment it's a blank screen, but we're gonna add some things to it now. So now let's go to the practice clock KV file. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the tab to panel and we're gonna put do write to we're gonna write do default tab we're gonna set it to false um usually when you want to put the tab panel in your design this is default tab that just appears so if you don't want it then you set it to false i don't want it so i'm setting it to false for now the next thing is we're going to put the background image for the whole tab. So I'm just going to go and check the path of my background image. It's in pictures. And it's this one here. gonna go to properties and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this and we're just gonna paste it there we're gonna change the direction of the slashes and I've called it bg.png and then now we're going to create a tab to panel item and we're going to call this tab panel item clock and we're going to set the color of this tab panel item to a nice indigo matching of a background so that's the indigo color i have to put a hash a hash in front so this is a this is a hex color so yeah okay then we're gonna set the font name to something else instead of the default font so i'm just gonna check the fonts folder in control panel and i like century gothic so i'm going to choose that then i'm going to choose the regular one go to properties and do the same thing like i did with the other one so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this um, file path i'm going to paste it here and I'm just going to call this gothic.ttf That's the name of the font by the way Anyway Now let's do the let's create a box layout within the tab the panel item Let's put the orientation of the box layout to vertical so and then we're gonna put a label within the box layout we're gonna give an ID to this label and we're gonna call it time and now the text of the ID would be will be zero 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 
and then the font name will be the same as the tabbed panel font and we're gonna set the size of the font to 18 okay something else that I want to do is I'm gonna do a general setting for all the labels and I'm gonna set their mockup to true so what it does is that if I use um, Python mockup in the Python file um, it's gonna work like um, if I want to change the text weight to bold or if I want to put the fonts or change the fonts or yeah the size of the fonts then it will work if the mockup is true so yeah so now we're just gonna run it again and see how it looks now boom there you go okay so now it's going to go into the Python file and make the clock the clock text appear and the date. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function called update. We're gonna write self and then tick takes another argument called tick and what we're going to do is we're going to access the label in the TV file through its ID, which is time. So we're going to say self.root.ids.time.text. And now we're going to say this equal to the CR of time. And we're gonna write the time now. So I want the size of the hour and the minutes to be bigger. So I'm gonna set the size to 60. And I want the font of the hour and only to be bold so that's what I'm gonna do and the percent I is for displaying the hour of the time okay so just gonna close up the font and then this is for the minutes and I'm gonna just put the AM and PM and then I'm going to close the size and then I'm going to create a new line and add the day and the month and yeah okay so, to run this function, to make this function run, I'm going to have to create another function called f on start. And we're going to say self. Okay, just so you know, the on start function is, a, is an inbuilt function. Um, so, it's an inbuilt function, so whenever the app starts, this function runs immediately. So what we're gonna say here is we're gonna say clock dot schedule interval, and we're gonna put this function in here. So it's gonna update the clock on every second. So we go self dot update and we're gonna write zero so we're gonna save this here and now let's try and run it 
Oh, there you go. Okay, I didn't add the two dots in between, so I'm going to add it here. And now let's look at it. Okay, so I don't like the fact that this, um, the day and the month and the, the number of the day to be at left line. So I want it to be at the center. So I'm going to go to the QB file and say H align. I'm going to set it to center. I think it's like that. I'm going to check. I might be wrong. Yeah. So, there you go. This is my simple, basic clock app. And it's done. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.